now as part of its policy measures in response to the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on Nigeria, the Central Bank of Nigeria in March introduced a number of policy measures. These include extending the moratorium on all principal repayments by an additional one year, reducing the interest rate on CBN intervention facility from 9% to 5% creating a five billion targeted credit facility for households and small and medium enterprises, and more importantly, providing a hundred billion naira credit facility for the healthcare industry. Now this scheme is available until 31st of December, 2020, and the applicable interest rate is 5% per annum. Up to 28th of February, 2021, Interest shall thereafter revert back to 9% per annum as from 1st of March 2021. Now, two months gone already since this announcement was made. These businesses say they are yet to have access to these funds. We've reached out to the Central Bank of Nigeria and, of course, the Nassau Microfinance Bank to find out why these funds are not yet disbursed. Hopefully, they will be on this show to respond to this. In the meantime, I have here with me the Chairman Research Documentation and Industry Liaison Committee of the Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria and um, the Managing Director, Merit Healthcare Limited, Dr. Lulu Ujo. Thank you very much for joining us, Dr. Ujo. Thank you very much, Lisa. Now, you are qualified for this COVID-19 fund. Uh, have you or any of your members assessed this fund? Well, for want of being able to mention a company that has assessed it, I will say no. I mean, I'm not aware that this particular company has assessed it as Saturday. But the truth is, uh, some companies already have their offer letter waiting for disbursement. Now, having an offer letter and getting the money, they are two different Completely things. Completely different. Do you have an offer letter? Not yet. I'm, I'm still on that in negotiation stage. Uh, <clears throat> As recent as last Friday, I had a discussion with my bank, and uh, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are making progress. So what is delaying? What are they telling you? What, what, what are they telling you it's delaying? Yeah, I think uh, there is so much uh, delay between what government say it wants to do and the execution of uh, that policy. Uh, here, the central bank said this money will be made available to the industry, but they are going through the bank and the bank want to go through its normal procedure of granting credit but, but this is supposed to be an emergency fund. honestly and that is the point that we are making that look this is an emergency this is a special package it's a stimulus package it's meant to have almost immediate effect on the operation of the company therefore they, you cannot be too strict about uh, what you are doing Let, let's take for instance collateral Mm. I mean, if <clears throat> by now I don't have a house to give you as collateral, you know, uh, as at the time the CBN governor announced it, it's not possible for me to manufacture one immediately. What sort of collateral are they house, asking for help? What sort of collateral is attached to this funding, which is supposed to be an emergency funding, uh, you know, to shore up the, the sector? I, I, it depends on the instruction that the, the CBN gives to the uh, bank. And I think the instruction is that, look, you have been managing these customers before now. Uh, just go ahead, do the normal thing you normally do before the access credit. But, but I think what, what needs to be done here is that there need to be a plethora of options, you know, available to, to the customer. And there are many of them. It could be insurance. It could be some other things that will not delay uh, the access as it used to be. If you st before now, if you start negotiating for credit now, it can take you five, six months before you eventually get something. But for this stimulus package, you can't afford to go through that route. And I think it is important that the, 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 the bankers look at that and be able to, whatever, I mean, make it easier. Uh, look at the way the COVID-19 uh, tax force has been working. You know, the chairman, the, that is the SGF, will be, will be seated, will be there. Uh, we need the intervention of the custom. They bring in the custom uh, controller general to be there immediately so that it can be done. They bring in the uh, central bank governor. This is what we need from you. The external affairs minister will be there. I think this package should be treated like that too. CBN should still have uh, uh, a superficial note on how this negotiation goes on with the, uh, the beneficiary, uh, so that we can bring the thing, you know, bring it up faster. Maybe almost 80 to 90% of those who are supposed to be ben to benefit from this package may 
as are today, be on negotiation stage. Mm. Yeah. That, that now, is the... now, aside from your role in the Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria, you are the former chairman uh, of Association of Industrial Pharmacists of Nigeria. Now, how much of a role are these associations you know, playing to ensure that their members gain access to this funding? What kind of negotiation is going on between them and the central bank? Well, I think Central Bank has already made it clear. In fact, yesterday I read through the uh, the governor's the central go governor's uh, uh, message on this, and yeah, you know, on paper I was quite impressed. And this but is, that's on paper, but on in paper, reality, that, 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 that is it. On paper, I was quite impressed because what he was saying is that let's turn this COVID nineteen uh, pandemic into opportunity. Now, for the uh, Nahib, the industrial pharmacist group. What we, the best we could do is what we are doing, particularly talking to our members. Yes, this money is available. Try the best you can to access it. Not only assessing it, make sure it is used for the purpose for which government intends it. You know, expand your operation. Let's have the products. Let's, let's have it at a good price. Let it be able to reach those who are in need. You know, the, 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 the bulk now is with the, the bank to ensure that we can get this money quickly. Uh, the customers are not, they just don't come yesterday. They, 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 are, they have history. Mm. So it, it is possible that the bank could rely on some of the historical uh, dealing with this customer to make it easier to. to now, it, it appears that we, we are very good at putting things on paper, but making it to be a reality is always um, difficult. We are very good at now, policy. Yeah, what, aside from the collateral that you have mentioned, what are the other bottlenecks you have seen in the whole process of um, accessing this fund? I, I, thus far, thus far, I think it's the collateral issue because mm. it now depends on each uh, uh, company to present uh, a foolproof case and to, to present it professionally in a way that we inter because it's not a it's not a bazaar it's not money that you just take it's not the allowance yeah. uh -huh. it's not uh, the usual national cake it is meant to come uh, uh, in uh, use uh, it for a purpose mm -hmm. that will benefit the and, and more so the five percent um, you know giveaway you know placed on this fund will expire by February next year this is where this is where I my 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 my, my joy is that virtually everybody in Nigeria now listening to you this is where the central bank need to look at this now you mm -hmm. said by by February by March next year the the interest rate will refer from 5% to 9%. Up to now, we have not assessed it. So the one-year uh, latitude or the one-year grace period that you are given is not there. So maybe what they have to do now is, until the last man assesses it, then the 5% stop to start counting from there. Because let me tell you, the, the, the beauty is in the 5%. No, because it allows you to do a lot of things, mm. no, without fear that hey, the, the bank is coming for my head. It allows you to take risk that you will otherwise may not want to take because of high cost of fund. Mm. So it's a good thing, very good thing, and the government needs to be commended for it. But let's take it away from rhetorics into action. Let us make sure that we can get it done so that people can start to use it. And the Nigerians, the populace, the general populace, for which the CBM formulated this policy can benefit. Yeah. Okay, let's just um, hope that um, both the central bank would, of course, uh, respond to what you, I'm talking to them, I'm, and I'm sure they would definitely get back uh, to us on this, and of course, the National Microfinance Bank as well. But I think you should bring them on this set too. Definitely, absolutely. I mean, if you have said, <laughs> I'm already, if you yes, have said you are going to yes, do this, they will. Uh -huh. They Has will it been be done? here, and I think you should bring the bank here too. Mm. You well, know. well <laughs> I'm sure the central bank should be able to answer for the bank. For the that's bank, the, well, that's that, that, the apex, that is that's that is the apex uh, that is bank. Anyway, the reality is that citizens and even uh, you know international partners are worried that Nigeria's health system is very weak and may be you know unable to actually combat this um, COVID-19. Could you give us a general overview of how critical the situation is in the health sector? and how much capacity do we have to actually get this resolved? Critical is, is clear that the world is in trouble. I mean, it's, uh, it's something that came to us, you know, suddenly, 
and uh, they call it novel, which means that we have not seen this before. And uh, that is why you see that virtually everybody is running at a skater. Uh, it, it happens now that uh, your so-called power, your war arsenal, everything that you have cannot help you at this time. It, it, it's new. Everybody is searching for something. You, you can see the breathing of the president of America almost on a daily basis. You know, he's it, just trying to see what. So it's a critical situation for us in Nigeria. Uh, before now, uh, we are not prepared for virtually anything. You know, even the lessons that we learned for Ebola, for which we were commended, we seem to have forgotten that. And that is why this has met us at the, situ the situation that we are right now. I, I, I was telling people that, look, it is the lockdown that actually covered the face of many things for us. By the time we return to full business, then we know that we are seriously in trouble. Look at it. 90% of our foreign exchange and it comes from oil business. What is the state of the oil business right now? Mm -hmm. As it is today, Federal, the central bank has moved its official uh, rate calculation from 307 to 360. And mm. do you, we now know what is going to happen in the marketplace. They are buying dollar at 450 naira. The goods that we bought uh, when dollar was 360, we cost it at that rate. We were selling it at that rate. We probably have not been paid. We probably have not paid our supplier. By the time you will pay back now, you'll be paying back at 450 or $500. So where is the profit? Where is the money that you can use for development? Where is the one that you can invest in research? You see, it, it is a critical situation. In terms of what is happening in Nigeria with COVID-19, mm. how many tests are we conducting? We, how, how much of community involvement do we have right now? So for how long is it going to take us to increase the number of tests that we are conducting so that we'll be able to know what to do? Can you stop people from congregating? Look at the, the time they relax uh, uh, the lockdown in Lagos. Look at what is happening in the markets. So people will still be congregating and be coming together. And well, the, 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 of course, we know that um, the world is actually scrambling to get um, a, vaccine, a vaccine, which, yeah. of course, is seen to be the perhaps the final solution yes. you know, to this problem. But then there's also this fear that probably when uh, this vaccine is eventually found, Africa... I mean, they, Nigeria, they probably not even have access to it. And a lot of people believe we should begin to, we have to look inwards. And in fact, just last week, the central bank uh, uh, governor announced that uh, going to support in you pharmacists coming up with a vaccine made in Nigeria. How feasible is this? Oh, yes. I mean, everything is possible. We, we, we have the wherewithal to get this thing done. I've said it. Talking about policy formulation, talking about coming very good idea. Nigerians are very good at it, either at individual level, institutional level, or mm. governmental level. We, we have good packages. The trouble is execution. The trouble is organization. The demand that you have not paid. Look, look at what is happening in the universities. It's all type of fight about salary, about this, about that. You see, demand that you have not paid, demand that is only crying about food all times. How will you have time for the kind of research that is to be doing? The, the, in the places where you, there is no light, there is nothing, no information. And the hundred, and, and the and, hundred, hundred billion naira is meant to aid the research. For this the this is the point. This is the point now. Now it is not supposed to be a one-off thing. It has to be sustained. You know, this is, look, let us, let, us, let us say it clearly. It's a good thing that government came out of, came from this. And mm. they said it openly. And I want to believe that they want to do it. It's not that they say it to make us happy. They want to do it. They want to make this money available. But let us make it clear now that it has to be sustained. It's not something that you do today and go Let's back to Let's even your... start the implementation and then talk about sustainability. Sustainability, yes. Mm. But in terms of whether we have the capacity to do it, my dear sister, we do. We have the best brains here. Mm. You know, not only pharmacists all over the we have about twenty school twenty schools of pharmacy. We have chemists, we have biochemists, you know, it's science. So it's not just uh, restricted to uh, one group. So once we can put these people in the right place, motivate them, you will see what is happening. You will see what will happen. I mean, after all, before we start using capsules, tablets, and whatever, diseases have been treated. Mm. We are the ones that neglected it. Mm. But with this new hope, we can come up with things that we need to do. We can do it. This is not... All right, Dr. Lulu Ojo. Well, let's just hope um, that um, the central bank 
response. I, I, uh, I, 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 I want to, <laughs> to, I want to be very optimistic letter. about that. Let's get I, this I read result. the nip of the CBN governor, and I have the confidence that he meant it. Okay. It's just from him to us. Okay. It's, I'm we, waiting, we have to, we have to sorting to the from off. Them. Uh, All right. Thank you. We'll leave it at that. Um, Dr. You. Lulu Ojo yeah. is the managing director, Merit Healthcare.